Hey friends, I am here in my living room and I'm just doing a bit of quick Christmas crafting and I thought I would share with you what I am doing. So, it's just a simple little thing. <laughs> um, but I am updating our stockings. So the stockings that we have, I picked up years and years and years ago, probably like nine years ago. Um, I got them after Christmas. Um, they were just a couple dollars each and I ended up getting four this was before I had kids, um, and now we ha we are a family of four. Um, they are all the same stocking, and I had originally, um, to kind of differentiate whose stocking was whose, I used my Cricut, and I cut out a letter for each of our first names and attached them to the front of the stocking. That cardstock glittery letter lasted several years, but... Last year we misplaced two of the letters that kind of fell off and I just felt like it was time for something new. We've kind of done that for a couple years now and I was looking just to, to change things up a little bit. I also have a jingle bell on the front of each stocking um, and that was kind of like to let us know if somebody was getting into the stocking. <laughs> um, so I'm going to flip you around and share with you how I'm kind of updating these stockings. So I found these metal letters in the dollar spot at Michael's Craft Store. I think they were actually a dollar fifty. Now they were originally this reddish color, and I wasn't super duper crazy about the red. Um, it's a little too brick red for my taste, and I just wanted something different. So initially, I had been looking for black letters, and they did have black letters. Um, in fact, this A was actually. Um, the black. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything to that. So I just used this craft paint. Um, I think I, I don't know if I got this at Michael's or if I got it at the dollar store. I don't know. It was just in my paint stash. Anyways, I just used a foam brush and painted the letters. I did about three coats. That's what it took to really cover them. Now, when you paint an acrylic paint on something that's metal it is likely to flick off and that had happened a couple of times with these just as I was letting them dry um, my son got a hold of them and kind of clanked them together and some paint flicked off so what I did was I added some of this varnish now this is I, I think also from Michaels um, it's just this soft touch varnish and um, they also sell like clear coats also in their um, paint section that I think are probably cheaper than this um, and I just went ahead and brushed it on to the letter. It really did leave this really nice soft finish um, and it sealed in the acrylic paint really nicely. And as you can see, this is what they look like. Now this letter, like I said, was black already, but I did go ahead and um, brush the soft touch varnish on top of it so that it would be the same finish as the rest of the letters. That is sort of my first step with my stockings. So next I picked up this ribbon from Michaels. Now this was I think 60 or 70 percent off. It is a really wide ribbon and it has some wire in it. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to put all of this together.